Congressman Danny Davis casting his vote this morning in the Austin neighborhood. The 82-year-old saying he feels energized by the feedback he's receiving from his constituents. We need your experience. We need your longevity. We need your tenure. We need your understanding. And we need your ability to bring back resources. Davis making the case that his 28 years in Congress is an asset, enabling him to have influence in Washington. But he's facing one of his toughest paths to re-election from multiple opponents who say investment in the district has been lacking. Chief among them is activist Kena Collins. The 33-year-old progressive came within six points of unseating Davis in the last election. I believe that our senior voices are just as important as our first-time voters. And so who's going to be that bridge builder and that organizer in our district to make that happen? Also vying for the seat is city treasurer Melissa Conyers Irvin, running on a platform centered around her expertise in the financial sector. The 48-year-old has faced ethics questions after Chicago's inspector general found she violated the city's ethics ordinance by firing two employees who complained she used city resources for personal reasons. Conyers Irvin says there are other issues that matter to voters. Residents want to know how are they going to keep food on their table. Residents want to know how are you going to keep their families safe. Two other candidates are running on the Democratic side, Nikhil Batia, an educator, and Corey Marshall, who worked for Governor J.B. Pritzker. Uh, Chad Coppy is running unopposed on the Republican side. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.